Hey folks, AG Squared here, and this is episode four of my Moving Into a New Home video series where I share tips and tricks to make sure that you have the best experience when moving into a new home. In the very first few episodes, we cover some foundational things such as how to minimize getting mail intended to the previous owners, how to set up internet in your home, and how to install new doorknobs. For this episode, I'm going to cover another very friendly do-it-yourself DIY project, and that is programming your garage opener. This is really important to do, not just because we all rely on garages to protect our vehicles and as storage, but also because when you buy a new home, you want to be sure that previously programmed remotes can't have the ability to get into your garage and therefore potentially into your home. It's a security thing to do anytime you're moving into a new place. Now over here we have the original opener which the previous owners left for us. And over here on the other side, I have a universal brand that I like to buy for all my investment properties because of the ease and versatility of programming it with many garage openers. Let's go up on the ladder and start programming this original remote first. After we're done with this one, I'll also program the universal one so that you can see how easy both are to do. Now this garage opener is a Chamberlain model. It's my favorite. Unlike the Genie brand in which I've had two out of two break on me and my properties, while Chamberlain, I've had around six, and all six today have given me zero issues on my properties. Now, most openers will provide instructions on how to reset and program remotes on the back, which is really useful. The first thing I'll do is fully reset the opener. To do so, I'll press and hold down the learn button for six full seconds. The instructions here tell me that the learn button is the yellow one and that a yellow LED will turn on. There's the LED and now we wait until the LED turns off. Once it does so, we'll know that the opener has been fully reset and I'll go ahead and release the button. Any remote that had been programmed previously will no longer work now. That's what we want, folks. So now we're going to program a new one. The instructions say to press and immediately release the learn button and within a 30 second window to hold the remote control button that I want to use to operate it. On the remote, I'll press and hold the button until I see the garage LED blink. The blinking or also light bulbs turning on and off means that the remote has successfully been registered with the opener. So this one should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead now and program this Chamberlain Universal one the same way as what we just did but there are a little bit of subtle differences. Let's go ahead and check them out. First, I'm gonna go ahead and get the box open and just note folks, I am not a graceful box opener. I don't have the patience for it and as you can see, I get the remote out of the box. The remote's front panel easily slides off by pulling it down like this. Inside the panel, you'll see the button to turn on the programming mode. I need to hold this down until the blue LED turns on on the remote indicating it's now in programming mode. There it is. So now I'm gonna do the same thing as with the other remote. We're going to click the garage opener's learn button. Now I'm going to press the remote's side button that I want to use to control the opener. Now, as you can see, sometimes you need to hold the remote's button for it to be picked up. But after a few of these tries, I realized that this simply just wasn't working. So I decided to turn off the remote's programming mode by pressing the same button as before. Once it was turned off, I went ahead and tried to program it again, and this time around, it went ahead and worked. Now, as this is closing down, I want to wait until I see it close down all the way. Done. Brilliant. And now we're going to go ahead and test the other one to open up the garage and make sure that also works without any issues. And as you can see, we're good to go. Both are working as we wanted to. Now remember folks, the most important aspect of this is to reset your garage opener for security reasons anytime you move into a new home. And that's a wrap for now folks. If you found this video informative, please go ahead and click that like button and consider sharing it with your social circle. And also go ahead and check out the other episodes in this moving into a new home video series. And if you are interested in additional content on either DIY do-it-yourself projects, repairs or renovations, or other topics on real estate, finance or technology, please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on future content. And as always, folks, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.